Arsenal beat Bournemouth by three goals to nil and you know that very well we've already done the match reaction and we're here to let you know what Mikel Arteta is going to hate to say about this beautiful game of football that Arsenal won that saw it go back to the table of the table three games played three games won maximum nine points Arsenal is really on the wheel and Mikel Arteta is on the wheel too and that is a man who goes by names of Mikel Arteta and his team that saw Odegaard the captain scoring a brace after scoring a brace then there was a player who goes by names of William Saliba scoring a beauty that everyone couldn't really believe it was the one who scored it you saw the likes of Gabriel Jesus and um and as Zinchenko both coming from Man City to join us no hold the back of their head with their both hands in disbelief because they never thought that a defender could go in and really score such a goal and you remember previous previously when Spurs was playing Chelsea, you saw that good volley that Kali Dukulibali took. And now, again this week, we've got another beautiful goal from a defender, William Saliba. And they have a new chant for him. Those are the fans of Arsenal. So much industrious for you. They are really so much industrious and so much creative to really pump this lad. I have a belief that they are doing all this because Saliba is the most hailed player on the field of play. Is it because they don't yet renew his contract and they are afraid that he can really go? They want to make him believe that Arsenal is the best ground to be, so let's wait and see what is going to happen in there. I decide which goes by the names of I decide which goes by the names of Arsenal. But obviously the manager Mikel Ateta had lots of things to say for to this game of football as Arsenal really beat a side which goes by the names of Crystal Palace by sorry, it's not Crystal Palace. Why is Crystal Palace so much stuck into my mouth? It's Bournemouth that Arsenal beat by three goals to nil. Now Mikel Ateta on the performance is said, I'm happy. It's really difficult to come here and win 3 0. So good to the boys, the way we played, especially the way we started the game, continued to play. It's not easy, and we have a good example when they played Aston Villa, how different the game was and how different the game became in some parts of the second half as well. At the same time, we have to look at ourselves, and in many areas, we can still get better. That's what Michelata said about that, and he really held the balls because obviously it's not an easy ground that you come here traveling and think that everything is done and dusted. Obviously, Aston Villa, one of the best teams that you don't expect to lose to Bournemouth, lost their two goals in the opening day of the game of the season. So things aren't okay, and as things went in bad for Aston Villa, obviously we thought that it would they would go not worse, but it was not going to be an easy one for Arsenal to go in and win, but obviously they won it with ease. In just 11 minutes, Arsenal had already scored two goals. You get? So it shows you that Arsenal really out, out passed them off the pitch, especially in the first half, because they had no shot on target, they had no corner, and they had no shot off target. Meaning that <coughs> Arsenal gave no chance, gave them no chance. To approach Aaron Ramsdale. That's how good Arsenal was in the first half, and they went ahead to win that game by three goals to zero. Then, asked about on being on top of the table, Mikeleta said it's just three games. It doesn't mean anything. There are any still other games. There are many still other games that have to play. What it means is that we have managed to win three games that we are scoring goals. Keeping clean sheets, the team is playing and performing well. That's what Mikel Arteta said. And he said, competing really well, but it's about Monday. Start training again and start to get better at other things that we have to do as well. And focus on Fulham. So, he's really so much focused on the next game. And as I told you that every player and manager is as good as the 90 minutes. He has played and he has managed respectively. So, the manager knows that this is a done job. The next job is to go in and play against Fulham, it's a London Derby. Fulham is not an easy team. You've seen it today playing Brentford. Again, it was a London Derby because those two teams are in London. So they've won it. They first led by two goals to nil. Brentford level 2 2. Then Fulham broke and really got a lead and they won that game 3 2. So it's not going to be an easy one. But according to the material that Arsenal is having, guys. The main was that Gabriel Jesus came in with from Man City. Guys, they are just taking Arsenal forward and forward and forward. I really believe that because Gabriel Jesus is just an he's just a player who is not injury prone. I really believe that 
he's going to come in and really put in a fight for Arsenal because he saw those two goals in a lot and he had one 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 assist he scored that his goal and was really caught offside by VAR so lots of things didn't go as he really wanted them but obviously he was offside but he really put up a very good shift into this game of football but Mikel Arteta is saying they've really played very well and he has said that they are really looking for the next game and it he has told us that they are preparing for the training on Monday and prepare for team which goes on in Fulham and it's good keeping clean sheets remember Arsenal has gone ahead to keep its second clean sheet away remember that game of Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park Arsenal won it by two goals to nil this one too Arsenal has won it three nil and a clean sheet has been kept by the Arsenal boys then Mikel Arteta has been asked on Grant Xhaka on playing him high up the pitch these two games especially that game of Leicester City and the game of Bournemouth we've seen Grant Xhaka being played up the pitch the game of Crystal Palace he really played deep but this time round she's being played <coughs> sorry about that guys because I'm tired and I don't want to sleep without doing this video because if I don't do it today I'm not going to do it tomorrow that's it because tomorrow I have to start up with six seven things we got all we saw in the game of Arsenal beat Bournemouth by three goals to nil that's what I'm going to start with so I don't want to really keep this work lagging so <coughs> that is because of fatigue guys he's telling us that the way I want to play there are certain spaces that have to be occupied at all times and as you can see there is a lot of rotation in that unit with Alex with Martinelli with him so when you look at everything either for you it shows you that Zinchenko because he calls him Alex Zinchenko really does a lot of mobility with Martinelli and and Grant Xhaka so each and every time Zinchenko goes up front of the pitch and switches in the midfield Grant Xhaka becomes the left back you get that's what Mikelata is playing nowadays so it shows you that he really wants to keep the wide area protected as Zichenko cuts inside because he's good when he cuts inside and is so much comfortable on the ball and he can take off players he couldn't let us know that but he has the ability to do that he has the capacity to do that he arrived today in some really good positions again and it is the evolution of the player obviously it's the evolution of Grant Xhaka because He's looking a different player. You get so calm, not, not afraid. You get as long as we know him as a rough player, but we've not yet seen his roughness this season. That is Granite Xhaka. And remember today he really created the assist, responsible for the assist of that third goal of William Saliba. Then on Zinchenko, he said he gives us the flexibility to attack in different ways in relation to what the opponent wants to do wants to prevent and make spaces that we want to exploit it's something good to have him in the team obviously Zichenko has really given Ateta a different way to play because I've always told you that since the game of Leicester City and the game of Bournemouth we've seen Zichenko for the very first time play as a left back and when he crosses the center he becomes a midfielder you get because Xhaka just covers him up and when Xhaka is up front then the Chenko covers up Grant Xhaka so it's like these two players are really playing something that every manager should know that you can be playing with a right back who is good going forward and when he crosses the line one of your central midfielders covers him up because he's good at really approaching those spaces and Mikel is telling you that he creates spaces that Martinelli and other players like Gabriel Jesus really go in and really work in through that's why I've always told you that it's going to be very hard for me to see KNT and coming in through and really playing lots and lots of games ahead of Zinchenko because what Zinchenko offers Arsenal KNT and he doesn't offer it to Arsenal KNT is good when he's playing in the wide areas he doesn't cut into the half spaces where Zichenko cuts in through. Zichenko comes in the half spaces and he plays very well and he creates spaces in the foyer and he narrows the opponent. So that is a man who goes by names of Zichenko and what Mikel Ateta had to say about him. Now, Ateta on what Gabriel Jesus has brought to the group, he said, new confidence, a new spark and that winning mentality that he has and the way he completes and the way he competes for every ball and the way he transmits his energy and his quality to the rest of them. And you could see that again today. So 
when he told let us know that he was involved in the goals he didn't score but he had a goal disallowed but he was involved in action obviously he was involved in a lot of action that is Gabriel Jesus the first goal second goal and the go one that he scored that was disallowed by the referee obviously he's really a very good kind of striker for arsenal and he is really that kind of player that everyone would be like to have in his team because he was wanted by real madrid psg juventus tottenham hotspur and chelsea all those wanted this center forward reason he wanted to get a new place to play from and Mikel Ateta spent close to six months talking to this man convincing him to join Arsenal and remember the story was broken by David Austin in March of this year that Arsenal are interested in Gabriel Jesus and talks are ongoing and obviously they convinced him because Madrid wanted to come in through and really hijack him and very many other teams Chelsea at the last moment he said, I'm going to Arsenal. And obviously, he has brought confidence, a new spark, and that winning mentality. Obviously, he's coming in from a team that winning is its food. You get? It's 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 mornings, morning, morning, it's, it's breakfast, lunch, and supper. That's what Man City does. The same applies to Zinchenko. That's why you see to either those those qualities are really seen on the pitch, and Arsenal really is now a team that is hard to beat. It's becoming a hard nut to crack. Then he told us again that on Jesus' attitude, on, on Gabriel Jesus' attitude, that he will keep people grounded because he knows how hard it is to win the ball, how much you have to put in. He knows he's still young, but he has experienced, but he has experienced, and I think he is really good role model for the rest of the boys. Obviously, Gabriel Jesus is really one of those that everyone knows that he has been at Man City ever since he came in through. He spent five years there because he came in when he was 20 years from Palmeiras in Brazil. Pep Guardiola denied him a chance to play as a leading striker for Man City and he sold him. But what he's putting up on the field of play at Arsenal, I think Pep says, oh, I must, I must have really missed out on a center forward that I really thought couldn't really lead my line. That's why I brought in Erling Haaland. But that is really good for Arsenal because for Arsenal, they've benefited. They're having that player playing for them, scoring them goals. And in three games, he has scored two goals and created three. That is the rate at which you would love your center forward to be on. So that is Gabriel Jesus for you. Three games, five goal involvements with two goals scored and three assists. What a center forward that is improving the Arsenal side. That is a man who goes by the names of Gabriel Jesus. So, I'll predict this again. He's going to outscore Haaland and Doen Nunes. To me, he's going to outscore Haaland and Doen Nunes, according to me. I'm talking about Gabriel Jesus. Then, Ateta on William Saliba's all round performance, he said he got a clean sheet as well which is the most important thing for the defender if you score a goal that's a bonus but they are doing what they need to do to keep the clean sheet every game second clean sheet of arsenal william saliba gabriel magali central defense with william with um problems the goalkeeper and i think the message is all clear that arsenal's defense is really becoming more and more solid Having one rock of Gabriel Magalhães because Ben White is seen as a soft, a soft central defender who is really good on the ball. He puts in a shift, obviously, but not to the level of William Saliba. But another rock of William Saliba was added to that Arsenal defense. And oh my, oh my, he's just a man who is really making things around and round at my at Arsenal in the for you. So scoring a goal is a bonus. That's what Michael Arteta says. But the first. The first task is given to protect his goalkeeper and not concede. And obviously, he has made it and he has not conceded any goal. So, William Saliba is really great. And on his goal, on the goal of William Saliba, he said, We've been training that all week. It very much surprised me. Individual talent, a movement of quality. I don't know how you are going to call it, but I don't think anybody expected it. And it was great. I'm so happy for the boy. Obviously, Saliba, Saliba is really making making noise at Arsenal. Bars all over Arsenal. That's why all those fans of Arsenal want him to renew his contract or extend or extend his contract at Arsenal because he's left with two years. And Arsenal also want to tie him on a longer contract, like adding him some two, three, four years on his contract to see that he's 21. If at all Arsenal has him for the next five, six seasons, then 
it will be a done deal. Not played in the Premier League before. Coming in from alone from Marseille, he's really doing something great for Mikel Arteta. And Mikel Arteta said, I'm so happy for the boy. Obviously, you can't be happy for such a boy because he's really one of those that is really great for Mikel Arteta. And a decision was right to him to France. And obviously, that decision has gone ahead to pay off. Arteta on potential exits. He said, there are a few players that we have to leave out of the squad. Unfortunately, it's painful, but we are trying to bring the team and the squad that is in the best condition to give us a chance to win the game. That is what Mikel Arteta had to say about the outgoing stuff. There is something I'm looking for in here. There is something I'm looking for in here, view. He said, um, he said it as far as the transfer is concerned. I don't know how I really missed out on it. I really believe that the website of Arsenal missed out on it. I don't know how they missed out on it, but this is what he said on the transfers. He said that transfers, that doesn't change. We know we are short. We have to add more firepower and we can do it. That's what Mikel Arteta said about the new signings obviously he knows they are short because in certain positions you look at arsenal like that of gabriel jesus if at all gabriel jesus gets an injury meaning that you must be having a good firepower that is going to come in and really create a lot of chances for side which goes by names of arsenal and that's what he really needs to go in and bring in more and more and more players that is michael ateta on what he's talking about bringing in new players in there they said which goes by names of arsenal thank you guys thank you very much for watching in smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily guys your reactions are welcome to this other win of arsenal three games three wins and the only team that can dislodge them out of that gate that position is man city provided they go ahead and really score and score close to three goals in their next game they're going to play against newcastle it doesn't look like an easy game because newcastle is going to put in a shift but obviously even man city is not an easy nut to crack obviously rock and david is my name may the almighty god protect you abundantly i cover you all in the blood of jesus christ i sign out for now see you later that has been michael reaction to bonmouth zero arsenal three i'm out